Hello, my beautiful beauties and my wonderful lovelies. A pleasant afternoon to you. If you have not yet surrendered your hearts, your minds, your souls to Jesus Christ, please feel free to do so. He's the best being ever, and certainly that would be the best decision that you could ever make. Beautiful people, you know, I was I came across a um, one of T D Jake's messages, which I generally do, but a particular one it moved my soul. To be honest with you, my heart broke. I felt, you know, really compassionate towards him and empathetic. Because the essence of his message, he was preaching, he said, God taught him how to remain silent in the face of vitriol, in the face of negative words being hurled at him. He said he would sit, he remember what he remembers one particular Sunday, he was heading to church to preach and he sat while driving, listening to a preacher tear him to shreds, listening to others. I remember scrolling TikTok and there was this woman, my goodness, she, if she could label him every negative thing that you could think of she did that and i said my god such i would i would even want to put that under debauchery such um horrid and that's not how god even operates at all when he let us say hypothetically that the man had strayed from god that is not how god would restore his servant if he had even strayed when I heard some of the things that people have said about him, and to be honest, usually these are religious Christian dubbed, you know, they call themselves Christians. You may hear one and two non-Christians, which is, is probably, ex probably expected. The things of God seem foolish to the things of the people in the world. And when I listened to him, I said, my God, that's important. The true test of character has to come through adversity. So let us say you have a podcast or you do, you're on TikTok doing lives or you're on one of the social media platform doing lives and people are purling negative words. How you respond to them tells me if you trust Jesus, if you trust God, I'm not saying if you slip one or two times because we're humans, but if constantly, as they say, A, you say B, as they say, C, you say D and you add E, F and G to it. You curse them out. You are no different from they are. You have not yet really connected and developed a relationship with God. You have not believed him when he says, vengeance is mine. I will repay. You have not believed him when he says, I'm omniscient. I'm, I'm omnipotent. I will take care of you. Leave them to me. You remain silent. No, you feel you must curse them out or do or repay evil for evil. You're no different really. You have not yet developed that relationship. So I encourage you, you know, and even me. Let us strengthen our relationship in Jesus today. Follow me on TikTok, guys. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this message.